What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today you're joining me in Halifax, North Carolina at what I believe is the largest charging site on the East Coast. So as I mentioned, we're in Halifax, North Carolina. We're at a Tesla 60 stall supercharger. It's a mix of version four posts and version three posts. And it's so big, I'm actually on my Segway right now to show you guys around. I got some drone footage here as the sun is setting. Uh, and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of the site. It's so big, there are three transformers. There are 15 supercharger cabinets. It is a wild site and it is beautiful with a great solar canopy. So Halifax, North Carolina, it's a place most people probably don't know, and for good reason. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but right there is I-95, and I think quite a few of you probably know that. It goes up and down the entire East Coast, and we're at the Oasis Liquid Landing. Uh, food court, apparently, fuel, uh, and it's right off of Interstate 95, so extremely convenient. There's a gas station there. There's a diesel canopy over there. Uh, Dunkin Donuts convenience store. I'm assuming it's decently nice inside. That's the transformer serving the store, 150 kVA. That is one of the three transformers serving the superchargers. That one is 2,500 kVA. We have some of the solar equipment there. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys an overview and then I'll do a little bit closer look at some of the components. Here we have six of the supercharger cabinets and over there we have a 3000 amp AC distribution board. We have three cars supercharging right now, including my own. All of these version four posts in a pretty interesting layout. Some of them are between the stalls. Most of them are at the head of the stalls in the more traditional sense. Over here, we have another 2,500 kVA transformer. Again, version four posts another 3000 amp switchboard and six more supercharging cabinets. You can see all of these precast bases for all of these version four posts. And we even have a pull through supercharger stall. So that is great to see. I wish there was more than one. There's that whole line of supercharger stalls, just beautiful, perfectly in line, really actually impressive job by the contractors, whoever built this site. Over here, we have the old version three posts. We have a 1500 kVA transformer serving those. We have what used to be a flywheel kinetic energy storage system. I forget the company that made it. I think it was Edge Energy, if I remember correctly. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. That was serving one of these two ChargePoint CP250s. One of them has been ripped out. They just put this cover over it, which is interesting. Um, we've got the distribution there for those and we have one, not even 62 kilowatt, actually only 50 kilowatt. So it is really kind of sad that this is what is here. Touch screen kind of works really cheap though. 30 cents a kilowatt hour. We have CCS one and Chatamo, of course. And then over here we have three of Tesla's prefabricated supercharger units or PSUs. And these are version three posts. So this site is actually essentially three separate supercharger installs, or I guess two-ish, because, because those are kind of all intermingled. Whereas this, this install is completely separate from the install over there electrically. So we have the main, um, PSU here that's serving as star center. There's a DC link between the three cabinets so they can all share power, which is great to see. And let's go over to the main attraction, the new stuff. There's also some semi parking over here, which is cool. And it is frigid out here. So unfortunately this site is not a proper version four po or version four site. Those don't exist yet. Um, but let me show you the cabinets and we'll show you the superchargers and stuff over here. I'll hop off my Segway, trying to stay warm here. 
put it on the rock so it doesn't roll away. That's what I'm riding around on if you're curious. So as I mentioned, this is a 2500 kVA transformer. Probably can't hear it, but it's humming a little bit, which is normal. So 2500 kVA. That is going from here into this 3000 amp switchboard. And then this has six 600 amp um, branch circuits that are then going to the supercharger cabinets over here. Then this also has, um, sorry, yeah, this has the six supercharger cabinets here, which you can see right there. And this site is so big, it actually has a map uh, for all the different electrical sources, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's where we started. That's the main transformer over there. And then that's the uh, photovoltaic or solar system hookup. So we're now at supercharger service disconnect number one. So 3000 amps here, pretty deep switchboard. That's a big boy. Uh, that might be a custom enclosure actually. It's kind of a interesting shape. Here we have, so cabinet 15, that's cool to see. And then these are just standard version 3.5 supercharger cabinets. Uh, there's the part number there. And as always 387 KVA, 250 kilowatts. Um, and these cannot do thousand volt. It is, uh, where am I looking? Zero to 500 volts right there. So typical version three output. I wish it was uh, not version three, it was version four, but those are not in the field yet. They're slightly offset, which is interesting. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, yeah, you can see 10, 12, 14, and then the other side had the others. And this site is not a magic dock site. This is just a NAX only site. That seems to be how Tesla's doing it at mixed sites with version three and version four. If you press and hold the button there, it will not release the magic dock. Even though you can see that they are in fact present. So a little bit of a strange choice by Tesla. And it's just a really well done site. I'm impressed there's a Wi-Fi access point and there's lights under the canopy. Could be a bit more light under the canopy, but that's fine. See my Model Y. We've got trash cans, windshield washer all along, a whole bunch of them. And really, this is an example of how to build a charging site. This is excellent. We'll come over here to the other solar hookups. Here we even have a little... Uh, sprayer on a well so if you need water for whatever reason you can use that so van life i guess you could uh use that to fill your water tanks probably wouldn't drink that water but whatever so it looks like we have a little bit over 120 kilowatts of solar doesn't appear to be on as far as i can tell uh i guess it is on maybe the screens are just off but you know, 61 kilowatts, 61 kilowatts, eight strings. And then these are two of the same. So there's a data label. So they're chint powered. I have not heard of that, but I'm not super familiar with solar things. That's a little outside of my wheelhouse. Over here we have the 3000 amp switchboard. This one's a different shape, so that's a little interesting but this also has the solar feeding into it as far as I can tell. So that's likely why uh, also has some of the communication in it. And we have six more supercharger cabinets over here. And again, the same part numbers there. So 2,500 KVA transformer. We have more solar equipment here. So it looks like we have an antenna. Yeah, bolted on. Panel board one, maximum AC current is 120 amps for the solar, solar disconnect. And then here you can see 500 kilowatts. I'm not super familiar with these meters. Uh, I think that might be site demand, which would make sense. There are four cars charging. I know my car's not drawing much, so that would make sense. Well, that is this site. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You guys always seem to enjoy these videos I do of site tours of superchargers and others. So if you like them, keep commenting down below and I'll keep making more.
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.